Hey y'all, thanks for following along our do-it-yourself competition bikini tutorial. Today we're talking all about making those bikini bottoms, which I think is the hardest part of making your entire suit, because getting the perfect fit can be really difficult. I don't have a magic pattern for you, but what we are going to talk about today is how to make our own pattern. So to be honest, I didn't even make a pattern on my first few suits, which is why this tutorial has lagged behind the others by like two years. <laughs> um, so to make our bikini today, what we're actually going to start with is a cheeky bikini bottom that fits you pretty well. Ideally, you'd have one that you can untie at the sides because we're actually going to lay this down on our pattern fabric. Now, if you don't have one, that's okay. You have two options. One, you can go out and buy one. You can buy a cheap one from a place like Target for less than $10, or I've even found really great fitting ones at Forever 21, and just cut those side straps so it lays out flat. Two is you can attempt to freehand it. You're gonna have to do a lot more alterations if you do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay those bikini bottoms right over a piece of paper on a smooth surface, or two eight and a half by 11s taped together. And then we're just going to mark some center lines, so that we know right where the middle of our suit is. This helps us get a great symmetrical pattern. And then just trace the outside edges of that bikini. You don't have to go all the way to the edge. We're gonna fill that in later. Now we're gonna use those center marks we made to fold our pattern in half. Again, we want this to be perfectly symmetrical so that whatever alterations we make appear on both sides. Then I'm gonna extend out those top and bottom lines and then I want to actually curve in my competition suit a little bit more. It doesn't normally sit as wide on the front or back as a typical bikini. Then I'm just gonna cut that pattern out using the thinner line I've now drawn. Now here's where things get a little bit tricky as we start to get that perfect fit that's gonna accentuate your glutes. A typical bikini, even the best cheeky bikini, isn't gonna cut in as close as a competition bikini. So you're gonna need to freehand a little bit. I start taking in, if this is my back, right in here where the arch of my glutes will be. And I just wanna dart that in just a little bit to use as my base pattern. I always recommend you buy at least a yard of your fabric, even though you're only gonna use about a quarter of a yard across the entire suit. That means even if you cut your pattern too small, you can retrace it and start over a little bit wider. I'll show you later how we're gonna actually go about fitting that. So here's where I'm gonna start arching in that suit along the back. And you'll see where I come all the way to the edge of that, and then I'm actually gonna lower both the front and the back because I like my competition suit to ride a little bit shorter than my average swimsuit. Next up, we're just gonna trace and cut. Now you may have noticed something a little funny in that last clip. While I folded my competition bikini pattern in half to get a perfectly symmetrical design, I didn't unfold it when I cut. Please do that when you do it yourself. So here's the one part of construction that I'm not gonna walk you through, and that's getting the right fit. What I recommend you do is pop on a pair of leggings and take that fabric we've just cut. Grab some of your straight pins that we'll use for sewing later and pin the fabric where you'd want it to sit right on top of the leggings. From there, you can take a look and see, is it high or low enough in the front and back? Do the sides dart in correctly? Am I getting the right shape to flatter all the hard work I've done? If not, make some marks with a piece of chalk, a Sharpie, or one of your straight pins and go back and just alter the fabric. If you need a little bit bigger, try recutting. Once you have the shape you love, my biggest recommendation to you at this point is to make a new pattern using that piece of fabric. This will ensure that for your next show, you can easily cut a suit that's gonna get you the perfect fit. I do want you to keep one thing in mind as you're fitting your suit though. We are going to add one of those great scrunch butts to the back of our suit which is going to arch it in a little bit more in the back. So you may want a little more give the first time you cut it, just to be safe. Of course, once you get it all together, if the fit isn't what you like, 
The great thing about doing it yourself is it's actually pretty easy to redo once you've done it once. Or you can attempt to alter your suit, which we'll go into on a different video. We're only gonna line the front of our suit, so you just need a square that's the same size as the front in your lining pattern, and then you can lay your pattern over that just to make sure it fits. Then we're just gonna cut a few stripes that map to our suits to make sure we've got those top, bottom, and then those side liners, which are gonna run a little bit longer. Lastly, I'm gonna cut a piece of elastic that matches to each strip, plus one extra strip that I'm gonna use to create that scrunch butt look. 